It began as a fun day at the ballpark and throwing out the first pitch. But a Puyallup boy had another big surprise waiting for him. Dave Hinman reports on a special homecoming at Cheney Stadium. It was a beautiful day for Rainier's baseball. Partly sunny skies, cool but not cold. The smell of hot dogs and popcorn wafting through the park. It was also family day at Cheney Stadium. Kids of all ages flowed through the gates and scrambled for a treasured autograph. I passed out because it was just so amazing. I'm the only one who got to do this in my family. Josiah was chosen to throw out the first pitch. And being a little eager, he had it all planned out. Throw a fastball, obviously, or, or I can throw a curveball. Perfect! What he didn't know was, catching for him was his hero, his dad, Air Force Staff Sergeant Jesse James, just off the plane from a year in Korea. Jeez, it means everything, coming back to my family. I mean, coming home. I've been away from my family for a year. I'm looking forward to seeing my kids' faces. And the pitch. Daddy! <laughs> A family reunited on family day at the ballpark, summed up by the look on a young boy's face. Dave Hinman, Pierce County News. Daniel is speaking. <laughs> Hey, hey, buddy! Jacob! Hey. <laughs> Who is this, Will? My brother. He's in the army. He is? Did he come home to visit you? I miss you, buddy. <laughs> Hi! Hi. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Marines. And this is this is Rooney's son, Michael. He's in the Marines. Hey, man, he's been away for a while. They ain't seen him in a while. He came back to surprise her. And as you can see, they're very surprised. Amen. Yes. I know this is something that Bruni's been looking forward to for a minute. Yeah. To see him and she, she prays about him and to him for quite a bit. So, it, was, it was indeed a blessing to, uh, to get to call and see if they wanted to you know, unite with her and, and to even do it here so you can a more special blessing. <laughs> It was amazing, you know, it took her a second for it to click who I was, you know. Picture these two people right at the end. Yeah. What? I am so happy. I can't. Nick's rest hypo right now. I haven't seen him in so long. Did you have any idea he was going to be here? I had no idea at all. Are you happy? <laughs> but I'm so happy right now. That's all I can really, like, I was waiting to go see him in Korea, and the fact that he came to watch my game is incredible that he got to see me play again. Did you ever think he was up there? No. I did. I never saw him. I never saw my dad. And now I see him. I missed him so much. Oh, all right, good to see you, girl. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. That was a great game. Good draw. Good draw. That was a good surprise. It worked out. Yeah. Long-awaited reunion for a Minnesota soldier and the dog she rescued in Iraq. Their story touched people all around the world, and today, after months apart, Army Specialist Gwen Bieberg and her dog Ratchet are back together. Maggie Newland has their story from Fridley. It's a good story. A story of friendship forged in war, of separation and determination, of overcoming obstacles. A wonderful story. Hey, Ratchet! The story of a soldier and her dog began on the battlefields of Baghdad and reached across the world. I got a letter from a woman in Italy who wrote to me and said how deeply it had touched her, the story of Ratchet. Come here, baby. Ratchet was rescued from a pit of burning trash on Mother's Day and became Army Specialist Gwen Bieberg's best friend in Iraq. He was like my own little personal comfort, you know, just fuzzy little love that I could go to any time that I felt down or lonely. Not only was he therapeutic for her, you know, she was his lifeline, so to speak. Gwen couldn't bear to part with Ratchet when she left Iraq, but sending him home became a battle in itself. People in charge would not let him leave. Twice, she says, the Army blocked her attempts to get Ratchet to Minnesota. But with the help of the SPCA and a website petition started by a friend, Ratchet's story gained international support. I thought it would get some attention. I didn't think it would get so much attention. And in October, on the third try, Ratchet made it to the United States to stay with Gwen's parents and wait for her. It's a great ending. And long after the camera lights stop flashing, they will simply be a woman and her dog back home in Minnesota. She's going back to school in September. She's already gotten accepted. Gwen wants to train Ratchet as a therapy dog. We'll go to schools, VAs, hospitals, anywhere where he can be of use to other people and spread his doggy love. It's just the next chapter. There's, there's good things ahead. Their story is far from over. Oh boy. In Fridley, Maggie Newman. Who's that? Kylie!